the summer of 2020, I talked to the chair of the department, Danny Bilson, uh, and he and I brainstormed on what could we do to improve the level of diversity in the games industry. And so we put some thought around it and over the summer came up with the framework for the Gerald A. Lost Endowment Fund. The Gerald A. Lawson Fund is singularly the most exciting thing happening at USC Games right now. Students who would never ever be able to participate will be able to. It will also mean that we can strengthen the program in a number of ways. When USC Games announced the Jerry Lawson Scholarship Fund, we knew we had to be a part of it. The video game industry is not diverse. Over 80% of black youth play video games. When we flip that number around and look at who's creating the video games, that number is in single digits. And they need to not only be represented on the screen, but they need to be the people making those products that other people are going to look at. And that's the work that we have ahead of us, is how do we attract, engage, prepare, underrepresented talent to not just have a job in the gaming industry, but have a career. Gerald A. Lawson was actually uh, one of the unsung founding fathers of the games industry. He's responsible for creating the first console that went to market that played interchangeable games. And if you have played video games any amount of time in your life, you know how big of an invention that was. And we don't know where the video game industry would be without Jerry Lawson's invention. Because he was such an unsung hero and he hadn't really gotten his due from a publicity perspective, we wanted to anchor uh, our fund to his name. If that can make it so that somebody can go to school and get their education and do something trailblazing in this line of work, I think he would be extremely proud of that. The more different people with different experiences and cultures that you have in the room, innovation will skyrocket as a result. And it's important that we have a workforce that reflects that diversity so that they can come in and create new characters, tell new stories, create new products and solutions so that everyone sees themselves in the world of gaming. I feel for the first time in the long time I've been involved in this industry that there really is a commitment, an understanding that it has to be done and it has to be done now. We're super excited and very proud of the fact that we are funding over 60 scholarships at USC Games over the next few years that are focused on black and indigenous kids graduating high school. We at USC Games are incredibly excited about this new relationship with PlayStation around equity and diversity. We're in talks and planning some things that are going to lift people up and give them the ability to participate in this incredible growing industry. Diversity is going to create a lot of really interesting games and I, I cannot wait to see what comes out of that 5, 10, 15 years from now. My message to a junior, a senior that's playing a game, that the gaming industry is for you. There is a place for you here. We want to come alongside you to partner with you, to nurture you, to help to give you exposure and visibility so that you can be a part of this industry and help to shape its future. We want to ask the rest of the industry to join PlayStation in supporting the Gerald A. Lawson Fund for black and indigenous students. And if you do, we may go bigger than USC. and We may be able to get this to other schools and get beyond because that's the dream, is to increase diversity in game education around the world. Our hope is that the USC Games Jerry Lawson Fund inspires other universities to create similar programs that focus in on diversity, equity, and inclusion for underrepresented communities in gaming and tech.